recap of the sunrise. Good morning and welcome to the sunrise and here's what only Sri Lankan parents do. Now when you're living abroad, the parents there, they advise you to live alone, you know, be independent, you know, stay yep. strong on your own feet. But you know how it is in Sri Lanka, right? In Sri Lanka, you're forever mama and dadas or ami and tati's baby boy or baby girl. Or in other words, baba. No matter how big and strong you get, you will always be ami and tati's baba. So even if you're a big man with a forest of body hair all over you, your mama is still gonna be like, baba, where are you? Another one is the famous get married soon and have a child. It's like Sri Lankan parents are determined that you reproduce with a woman or a man. Why though? It's like without that grandchild of theirs, they will fall ill. Papa, when are you going to give me a grandson? I want a grandchild soon. Or else what am I going to do? I will die soon. I'm getting old also. And that is how they guilt trip you into how much they're aging so that they want to see a grandchild before they leave this earth. Next thing you know... Another famous thing you have to deal with with Sri Lankan parents is curfews. Keeping curfews in mind, getting out is also another problem. It's like you have to prepare weeks and weeks and weeks before you finally put the proposal mm. towards them. You need to tell your mother especially where you're going, who you're going with, what you're going to eat, where you're going to eat, why do you want to eat from out, why can't you eat from home and go, and a whole bunch of other things. So it's like worse than getting a visa to the United States of America. You pretty much have to go through hell and back just to get out of the house. And finally when you get out of the house, it's only the beginning because you need to tell them when you'll be back. So at weddings, this is basically how our mothers would compare us. Like, huh, did you know? My son, he recently completed a four-year degree. What does that mean? My son has a master's degree. My son started renting his own house. My son's salary is way more than your son's. My son doesn't need a salary. He's the boss. My son drives a Mercedes Benz. My son has- And it'll go on forever and ever until one of them gets really mad and doesn't talk for another two years. And last but definitely not least, we have the famous Sri Lankan home treatments. You know, whenever you're sick or you have a cold, mm. there's always a go-to medicine that your parents will that your mom especially will always have for you yeah it'll be either some hot water based cloth on your face definitely some tablet that we all take or some balm that you can rub on your chest balms are something that the relatives love to go insane no no they rub it all over your body they don't understand the concept of balm yeah it, it is believed that Sri Lankans at one point believed so much in the balm that if you broke your army when they would apply balm and let it heal honey you have a cold come drink some kotta recap Of the sunrise. sunrise.